Yeah. Cool. Uh, third question. Uh, there we go. Uh, right. No. Uh, here. Um, I have a landlord. She's recently divorced. She has an apartment in her name that was always rented out. Her ex-husband managed this. The lease is in his name. So it, he was basically the landlord uh, from the looks of it. I don't know who owner is, uh, but he was acting as a landlord. Um, he has always collected the rent in the deposit. Uh, the divorce agreement clearly states that the apartment is hers. So now we're we speaking about ownership and that the rent is to go to her. I mean, that's a court order. Uh, he never gave her the deposit. Who's responsible for refunding the deposit? Do the tenants have recourse against the ex-husband at the tribunal as they have a, a POP that said the deposit uh, was paid to the ex-husband? Okay, so so it's a fairly straightforward. The the, the question, um, the details of the question are, are quite intense, and there's there's a lot that's been going on with the divorce and the settlement and and whatever. But um, the beautiful thing about law, when we try answer these questions from from a legal perspective, what we try to do is we try to break it down onto basic right. principles. Okay, that's that's how law is in, in South Africa. We've got basic principles that you know can be applied, um, you know, to a various different circumstances so something like this um we, we go back to our basic principles the it seems that the husband is the owner and was uh you know had a lease agreement with these particular tenants was letting out collecting the rental and had collected the deposit in the circumstances um now as a as a part of this divorce settlement this property is going to have to be transferred from the husband to the wife Okay, that's that's where it says that the apartment, in terms of the settlement agreement, the apartment, the apartment is hers. So there is going to have to be a transfer of ownership of that apartment into her name at some point. Okay, um, now once that happens, we have our the same old principle that we always use, which is hier gaat verkoop. Okay, mm. so that property, the minute it transfers through to her name, okay. She is now the owner of the property and she is going to step into the shoes of the landlord in the circumstances. Okay. She now becomes the landlord. And in terms of any rental agreement that would be in place with the husband, say they've got a fixed term agreement that's been signed, mm. she now is replaced um, and becomes the landlord. And she is expected to uphold the terms in terms of that lease agreement. She is also entitled the fruits of that agreement, i.e., she can receive the rental in the circumstances. Okay. Sure. The, the um the the question here really relates though to the deposit okay that doesn't seem to be a problem to me because you know that's just an explanation of how the legal process works okay mm. what's, what's the question here really specifically relates to the deposit in the circumstances because the deposit has now been paid to the husband okay now the property is transferred the lease is transferred um and so now the question is what happens so in law the, the basic principle is that um, the the deposit, which was now being held by the, the old landlord, okay, should in law pass on to the new landlord, okay? The new sure. landlord obviously is entitled to receive that deposit. They can, they, and they have to hold it in terms of the rental contract between the parties, okay? So again, every right and responsibility with regards to that deposit, which is set out in the lease agreement, um, they need to, they need to now um, hold. Hmm. The, the interesting thing about this is that there might be a couple of remedies um, which which arise out of law. The, the first one that sort of picks up to me is because this is a divorce settlement and it's been agreed that this property is going to transfer from the husband to the wife. Uh, we obviously, we don't have the benefit of the settlement agreements in front of us. But it seems to me that there's going to be some level of if the if the husband is not he's agreed to transfer this property in the lease agreement, um, and his failure to transfer the deposit as well uh, seems to fall in the face of the settlement agreement uh, as a first point. That, that I don't think that's going to be the ordinary remedy that that most attorneys would go to because there's mm. a, there's a simpler one which you know tenants have a claim against against the landlord uh, absolutely, but it does seem to be some level of what, to what extent has the la has the old landlord now breached his settlement agreement? Okay, so there might be some liability there um, for the for the new wife, which is directly against the previous landlord. Um, and then the question was, do the do the tenants have any uh, recourse against the 
ex-husband at the tribunal as the you know as they've paid the amount it would certainly have the ability to to approach the tribunal on that uh, on on that aspect as well um but because this has been written from a uh, there are a couple of different ways to to handle the situation because this has been written on behalf of the wife who was the client of the person who's written in um I, there might actually be some sort of remedy in the divorce proceedings to say that the settlement agreement actually hasn't been complied with in the circumstances which might uh you know that's a direct remedy instead of the the tenants who are a third party who weren't the people writing in approaching the landlord in the circumstance or, or the ex-landlord in the circumstance um so, so honestly it, it's illegally and and given the facts if you looked at the facts you'd figure out which is the best way to to approach the circumstances but because this person is writing in on behalf of the new landlord uh almost invariably i'd say let's have a look at the settlement agreements and see if there's been a breach of that settlement agreement which you could enforce the old landlord to pay over the deposit in the circumstances i'm not sure if you agree bruno yeah absolutely totally agree with you and it's actually quite interesting because as you're answering the question uh i i immediately started thinking about you know some uh, you know somebody has uh, you know is asking from a tenant perspective obviously like i have a landlord but yeah. obviously coming from the agent it's a very different conversation because from the agent you're going well we need to protect we need to protect our client uh, so we need to figure out what we need to figure out what exactly we're going to tell these tenants. Can they approach the rental housing tribunal and go against the previous landlord? Yes, but I mean, if we're advising them, we'd say, well, go against both because you know, hedge your bets. Um, otherwise, go against the previous one, and he has a story. And uh, and obviously, with haircut foot corp, you're probably looking at a situation where your most direct bet is to go against uh, the current uh, the current landlord. Yeah, sure. uh, but if you're trying to protect the current landlord from one aspect, uh, from from the aspect of this being your client, I de then totally agree. Use the settlement agreement to um, use the settlement agreement to say that he hasn't complied. Uh, uh, obviously, handing over the property, handing over the rent, all rights, obligations. This includes um, this includes handing over a deposit because the deposit isn't yours. You're actually holding it in almost a fiduciary capacity. So he's not actually supposed to have pocketed anything. Uh, the money's available. It's not his money to do with what he wants. So unless the agreement, unless there's some kind of set off somewhere in the agreement where he can argue, but I mean, short of that, sorry, the legislation is quite clear on what you're supposed to do with deposits. Yeah, and and even the uh, even with the set off, uh, there's difficulties with that because you're not you're not going to be able to negotiate with money that's not yours that's supposed to be sitting exactly there. You can't yeah exactly even, even if you try to come to an agreement of well i'll replace it I, I think you'll have big difficulties with that yeah no no fair enough no absolutely yeah yeah 